I'm Luke with SNS Diesel Motorsport. Wanted to take a little time to explain a little more detail about our CP3 conversion kits for the 2011 to 2016 Chevy and GMC Duramax, uh, the LML and Duramax platform. So those model year trucks, uh, as well as the 6.7 Ford Power Strokes, all have a CP4 high pressure pump. Um, unfortunately, those CP4s have become fairly well known to fail and then when they do fail they send metal shrapnel through the rest of your fuel system uh, which wipes out injectors, rails, lines, sensors, everything downstream. Ends up being a very very expensive repair bill um, and uh, to remedy those issues uh, that's why these type of products exist. So um, we did a video previously describing in detail the differences between uh, a CP3 and a CP4 to, to really explain why it is that the base pumps are different and why it is that the CP3 is just a really, really robust, reliable platform. Um, and uh, one of the differences between those two is uh, the metering unit itself on a CP4, for example, <clears throat> uh, it has a screen on it. Um, the CP3 doesn't have any of that. Um, the CP4s in a few different places have screens uh, on different components that Bosch is trying to protect. Um, so you kind of can tell even from the original development that it's known that if they did fail that it was going to be bad, that there would be catastrophic damage. So the screen that's on uh, this metering unit to, is kind of a last ditch hope to catch any debris that came from the pump before it went downstream to the rest of the system. Normal modern diesel fuel filtration uh, is in the two to three micron range as far as the size of particles that it will catch. Any properly spec'd filtration system is not only a size but it's also a efficiency. So most of those are going to be mid to high 90% in the two to three micron range typically. So that basically says that it'll catch 95, 98% of any particles that are two to three micron and larger. Um, not every filter is gonna catch everything uh, all the time, but that's a pretty good rating. And Bosch basically requires, depending on the application, whether it's a grocery getter or whether it's a work truck or it's you know pulling heavy loads up and down the road every day, they require um, four micron or better at 90 plus percent is basically what they say it takes to be able to protect your system. Um, to be able to protect that expensive investment in common rail injectors and things, that's basically what, what the requirement is for Bosch. So if the fuel pump, if the CP4 never fails, it's okay, your, your factory filtration you know, that's this, you know, nice big canisters that have a lot of filter media, they can do their job. If and when the CP4 does fail, it introduces debris downstream of any of that proper filtration. And then you're left with an 80 micron screen that's not going to be very efficient or effective at protecting your system. Even some of the aftermarket uh, metering units that have a finer screen on here are in the 25 micron range, uh, which is still many times more than what it really takes to protect your injectors and keep them healthy. The reason that that matters, we had also done a, a previous video actually that went into more detail on fuel cleanliness and fuel quality and why that's so critical for these new high pressure common rail, ultra high pressure systems. Um, so you could check that one out for a little bit more detail about how to protect your investment in your fuel system and in your truck. Um, the issue is in an LML injector, for example, this little plate has a sealing surface inside of here, which is going to be even difficult to see in this little valve piece. The tip of this, which is really, really, really small, seals into this plate. You get hardly any kind of particles passing through that system. And as that valve opens and closes hundreds of thousands, millions of times, it embeds the debris and beats that surface in and causes damage like this. So this is a piezo injector, like an LML or Scorpion injector, that had um, some very fine particles pass through it. Unfortunately, 
it caused no start conditions, it caused excessive leakage through the injector system. And the reason that is is because of that very small debris uh, damaged that sealing surface. It caused pitting and damage to that so it couldn't properly seal anymore and that just causes havoc. Lots of troubleshooting issues and it ended up having to replace the full system again. So to prevent that, our solution for those issues is basically just to get rid of the concern altogether, which would be that CP4 pump, and put a reliable CP3 that really just doesn't ever fail as long as you keep good clean fuel to it. And even if it does fail, it does not send debris downstream. Only the pump would fail. This product here is a really popular, um, awesome application for the bone stock everyday driver guys. So it is a carb compliant, 50 state legal. Um, it's got a ninth injector line on it to feed your after treatment system, your DPF doser. Um, the pump itself is modified to be no tuning required. So the flow of the pump is matched to what the CP4 was. So as far as the truck's concerned, the truck doesn't even really know that there's anything different. Uh, you just took the CP4 out and put a reliable, robust CP3 in there. Uh, we do all the modifications basically so that you don't have to later on. You don't have to pay for any kind of tuning to try to get the rail pressure governor correct. It, the pump does it for you. <clears throat> that comes uh, in an installation kit with low pressure, high pressure lines, fittings, plugs, everything you need, including full color instructions. Um, comes with tags on the pump and another tag to put in your engine compartment or on the vehicle. It's got part number, the car VO numbers, everything you need. So that's a, that's a great, a great alternative uh, to make your LML Duramax a long life reliable vehicle. Um, we've got a couple other variants of that as well uh, for those applications. So say for a competition type application that doesn't require uh, that ninth injector line, we have uh, this variant of that CB3 pump the pump is also modified to be no tuning required, not require any kind of recalibration for rail pressure governor issues. Um, and that one works really well for those type of applications. There's another version, and this is most similar to what is more common in the market. And this is an LBZ based CB3 um, that has not had the pump itself modified to change the performance. Um, so this one does require recalibration on the ECU side to get the rail pressure governor correct because the flow versus current um, relationship is different on this than what the stock CP4 is. So in this case, there is some other, other changes that need to be uh, happening um, with the installation of the kit. And like I say, pretty much almost every other CP3 conversion kit out there on the market is basically a LBZ CP3 style pump. And a last option we have also for um, competition race type customers that want to use an LML base engine and whatever that application is that need higher performance, higher output type pumps uh, similar to this one, which would be, uh, for example, our 14 millimeter uh, CP3. You can couple the installation the CP3 conversion kit with that high output pump for those uh, type of high performance applications. So. Um, Trailer Life Magazine did a article as well. We teamed up with them and they did a great article uh, really explaining how to do, they did an installation of this kit here uh, with a lot of good pictures and descriptions and things like that. You might check that out as well to get a little more information on what it looks like, how involved the installation is uh, and things like that. So if you got any questions, feel free to reach out um, or uh, contact a dealer. Uh, we've got dealer locator on the website as well as a contact form. Um, so hopefully we can get one of these CP3s in your LML soon to make it a long life reliable truck. Thanks.